Hi everybody, welcome to this video guide for Pro and Expert Division of the Michigan Lynx Tournament. This is a general playthrough featuring shots from my archives and we're going to look at all nine holes of the Waterfield Sands course. These are random wind directions, we won't of course know the correct tournament winds until the rounds begin. So this is just for general information purposes uh, to make some um, preparations and some initial notes of some approaches you may want to take. You will need to tailor the adjustments according to the wind directions you have, the balls you're using and of course the setups in general according to your clubs and play style. Please remember to hit thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Good luck in the Michigan Lynx tournament. Let's begin with hole number one. Hole number one then, I'm going to suggest you go with a driver with six bars of top spin because we do need distance. Uh, so six top spin, three bar side spin to the right. Then we are going to adjust max numbers, 10% elevation. We only pull into one ring of overpower, maybe two, depending on wind angle. But regardless of that, go with max OP. A little bit of curl to the right because we want to bring ourselves in a little bit close to the green if possible. And then of course we want to try and hit perfect. Great left and great right should both be fine. We do have plenty of fairway to aim at looking somewhere in excess of 381 yards. Second shot, going to play with the Guardian, and that's because I find the sniper very, very glitchy before the green. So max backspin, one bar side spin to the left. Then we are going to aim uh, right at pin as shown. Make sure also uh, that we do have a second bounce above the pin. And we want to use the backspin to grab and then pull the ball back down towards the hole. Here I'm going just under max plus 10. On this occasion we pull into a little bit of overpower. If you get a longer roll out on your drive then you won't need any overpower at all. So make sure if you do go into overpower make sure you add enough on to cover what you were just into. Perfect ball away and this one is going to have a very nice chance of dropping and we drop it beautifully for an eagle on hole number one. Hole number two, and this one is as near to a money shot as I think you're ever going to get. Quarterback here, three and a half top spin, 0.2 side spin to the right. I think a quarterback eight is going to be fine here. You do have sufficient top spin there, so if you don't have quarterback ten, don't worry. Set up there with a ball guide to the hole. Find the middle of the funnel. It's a huge funnel to aim at, so this is an absolute beauty of a shot. And we're up the min line with power one ball, so we have to use a navigator here. Then we're just minimum distance, 10% elevation. I am three out of three on this shot already. One of those was with a great left. Two of them, of course, with perfect, which we do need to try and hit. But I think this funnel is so good that a minor great ball still has a very, very good chance of dropping. Catches the slope with the top spin and then falls down beautifully for an absolute money hole in one. Okay, here I'm going to use the Apocalypse because we do have um, some headwind angle. Bear in mind though, you don't need to have an APOC 4, you can do this with a lower level as well. 4.5 top spin, 3 bars side spin to the left. Focus on the second bounce with spins added in case you're using a different club level because you'll have different ring sizes and different plus yardages displayed. Don't need a power 5 ball here in my opinion, Kingmaker is going to be absolutely fine. Max plus 10. Then we're going to go with full curl to the left. And of course, perfect ball, which we hit. And then we are going to bounce very nicely, not threatening the rough at all on either section of the fairway. And we're getting a good roll out here. We want to be between 355 and 360 yards. Second shot, choose either the big dog or the cataclysm, whatever gives you most distance combined with topspin. Topspin is very important here. It will carry us nearer to the green. Adding spin. Max topspin. Three left spin, giving myself some room from the rough. Then my adjustment here is going to be maximum distance, 10% elevation. Once we've done that, time to take our shot. I do give myself a one ring push up here because I, when I was looking at my position, uh, did think I had a bit more room from the rough, so just to gain a few more yards, I do push up one ring, but judge for yourself, depends where you are and what club you're using as well. Max curl to the left, perfect ball, top spin going to take us very nicely to the green. From here, this will leave an end bring a school wedge, no spin, 20% elevation.
Hole number four then, quite a tricky par three. If you have tailwind, I would suggest bouncing over with the Grizzly. But in this wind angle, pretty much level crosswind, we can go with a Sniper 10. Max backspin and three bar side spin to the left. Kingmaker is better in expert, but of course in pro. Then a Katana is fine. Adding spin, ball guide pointing at the hole. We can use plus yardage here as a reference as well as the rings to ensure that we're starting in the correct place. So we're adding our spin, aiming at the pin with the ball guideline. Guardian can be used here if you don't have a sniper at level 10. You can always find your position uh, and then do a club switch. The adjustment here is actually max plus 50. Max plus 50 power to numbers. And even with the long iron shot before the bunker, that tends to play at quite a high elevation as well. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of ground to cover and it is downhill as well. But we hit perfect and uh, the backspin grabs very nicely and we drop it for a hole in one. Now we're going to look at two options here on hole number five. If we get any amount of tailwind, we can play a double guardian approach with a berserker. So we are going to use the guardian as the tee shot as well as the second. Power five ball is uh, needed here and I would... I uh, suggest you go with less wind resistance rather than more, purely because of the second shot. Setting up at max distance with the Guardian and a power 5 ball, and um, between 1 and 2 bar backspin and a little bit of side spin to the right. Then we adjust here, uh, maximum distance, 10% elevation. Max distance plus 10. The reason we're using the Guardian is because if we go with the quarterback or the rock, you won't have room to adjust back even if you are starting a uh, few rings up from min. We want to make sure we've got room to adjust in tailwind. So using a wood club off the tee is absolutely fine and we want to approach the end of the fairway around 260 yards. Now the second shot is quite strange as we have to imagine our landing position. I'm going to go with max backspin and one bar side spin to the left and I stretch out to judge how many rings short of the landing spot that I am, um, which in this case is going to be max. So I let my target rest, then I'm going to adjust max plus 10, which um, is what I'm going to do now, 7.4 rings. Then I push up to max. Then I visualize another 7.4 rings, which is the wind push from my adjustment and how much I need. So I stretch out a little bit and then visualize the landing point with that 7.4 ring adjustment on top. I estimate I need between three and four rings of overpower, so that's what I apply, and a little bit of curl to the left to counter the wind push. Minor great left, minor great right is going to be fine. We just want to bounce on the fairway and the backspin will grab, steadying the ball on the green for an eagle putt. Okay, difficult wind angle on this difficult hole anyway, to be honest. Minimum distance line with the rock. Go with one bar of top spin, three bars side spin to the right. Then we are going to adjust minimum distance numbers, 15% elevation. So min plus 15 on this one, and we're going to lay up. And we will need a distance wood club, so make sure you've got your cataclysm or your big dog at the ready. A little bit of curl to the right, as you can see there in the video, and perfect ball away. Once again, we're looking for 255 to 260 yards. Kingmaker to cut down the wind here. We also need the three bars of side spin. Second shot, distance wood club. Going to go with just over five bars of top spin, three bars side spin to the left. And again, focus on the position of the second bounce. We want to hit the rough and roll out. And then we are going to adjust here, uh, true club distance plus 10 is what we're going to do. So it's going to be pretty much max distance, maybe max minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.2, if you don't want to bother with working out, plus yards and slider. Full curl to the left. Perfect ball, very important. Obviously, heavy great left might risk the bunker. Clips the rough and rolls out. That will leave you an end. Bring a school wedge, 20% for the eagle. Okay, hole number six, I'm going to play with the extra mile. Four and a half top spin, two bar side spin to the right. I have extra mile nine here, but extra mile seven, extra mile six, even going to be fine on this one. Adjustment we are going with here. 
is uh, maximum distance 20% elevation. So max plus 20. I would advise putting a bit of overpower on this one, just half a ring, and if you do adjust into any, then add that on as well. The reason being we want to be in range for the Goliath. We don't want to be in between clubs. So I would rather go with a little bit more than not enough in this scenario. Obviously, if you do have a lower level extra mile, you will need to go with more overpower than that. The other option is you go with five or five and a half top spin. So the choice is yours on that one. But max plus 20, you're gonna find uh, the middle of the fairway very, very nicely. We need uh, 370 really. Um, 368, you're probably gonna be just at max distance here. So 370 is not bad at all. Then second shot, we want around four and a half top spin, two right spin. Ball guide here, I am setting up to be just through the hole. Bear in mind, if you have different level Goliath, you will have different amount of ball guide and also different ring size. So do have that in mind. Here, I am playing true club distance plus 10%. So this is pretty much max distance. If you're a couple of yards away from max, then I would reduce your adjustment by 0.1. And then we are going to hit perfect here, obviously. Uh, that is what we want to do. And this one will come in nicely, but we do need to tweak our position slightly or our adjustment. Uh, good speed, but we are just going to miss this one to the side. Think it's going to be good, but then just misses a little bit to the right. So a little adjustment there, but I do think we've got a very good chance of dropping that for an eagle. got a beautiful hole in one to show you here it is with a kingmaker we do really need kingmaker especially if you're playing with um lower level sniper here you can drop down to a katana if you've got sniper 10 but it's going to give you more wind to deal with all we need here is three bars of side spin to the left and the reference here is the red ring touching the bunker max plus 20 is the adjustment on this one and as you can see even with the wind pushing us from right to left, I am still going to play with some curl on this one. So it's going to be uh, edge of the ball touching the outer wall of the adjustment ring to the left. Perfect ball away, and this does have a very good chance of dropping. Nice wind angle to play this hole in, really. So uh, very good chance here. Perfect ball, and we go right at pin for a beautiful hole in one. Let's have a look at hole number eight then. I'm gonna play down the left-hand side here. You need a driver with six bars of top spin really to get some good distance to be able to play the approach shot and I'm gonna show you. So six top spin, three right spin using a king maker because we do need that side spin. We wanna cut the wind down as well. Max plus 15 here, max plus 15. And I'm not bothering about how many rings I'm adjusting to overpower. I'm just going to go full blast, full overpower down the fairway here with a little bit of curl to the right. Perfect ball away. Obviously, we do want to try and hit perfect here. And this one will bounce very nicely. We want to be around 370 yards. 370 yards here. So 373, absolutely fine. Second shot, add your spin. Half a bar of backspin, three right spin, and find the position where you get consistent ball guide. If you move your target around, it will make the ball guide move around as well, but just try and find that position there with that spin added. The ball guide will uh, be stopping a little bit short of the pin. Then here, I am playing this one in between mid and max distance, 5% elevation. In between mid and max, 5% elevation. Obviously, if you have a lower level sniper, you may need to stretch out and push back up. Very useful to have sniper 9 or 10 here. But like I said, if you are a bit shorter on your drive and you've got sniper 7 or 8, you do still have a chance. We sneak this one in on the left edge, but it drops beautifully eventually for an eagle. I'm going to use the apocalypse here because we do have headwind angle. I've got the APOC 4, but as before, can use a lower level apocalypse. Still going to be absolutely fine. Here, I'm using just under six bars of top spin and three bars side spin to the left. Uh, look at the second bounce when you've got your spin added. If you've got a different level APOC, then the ring sizes will be different and the plus yardage will be different. So that is one way to check 
you are setting up in the equivalent position to me. Max curl to the left, max plus 10 is the adjustment here, and we do want to hit perfect. And the curl and the top spin will take us very nice over to the next piece of fairway and straight down the middle to set up. Another brilliant attempt for an albatross using a rough bump. Here, I'm going to play with the Goliath once again. I do not want to be in between clubs. Checking my club distance here, and then we are going to add top spin, three bars, and then three bars of right spin. And here I am playing true distance of club. So find out where max is, find out where minimum distance is. And then you want to be playing true club distance, 5% elevation. Very good chance here, aim at the pin. And then we're going to adjust and take our shot. Very, very decent chance of a drop. This rough bump for me has been working very, very consistently indeed. So this is a great way to finish your opening round. Make our adjustment and then we are going to go with perfect ball. And you'll see this bounces very nicely. And we drop this one very beautiful speed as well for an albatross. Thanks very much for watching this video here on the channel. If it has helped you in any way, please consider sharing it amongst your friends and clanmates in the game. Join us also on Facebook. Head over there, search for BK Golf Clash and join our free group. Loads of members there sharing shots. Free guides are posted as well as loads of other great Golf Clash resources. So check us out there. You can join in the discussion and also leave feedback on the game in general. Finally, if you wish to help support the channel and keep the content free for everybody, please consider becoming a Patreon member. The link is in the video description down below. Good luck. See you soon. Bye for now.